Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh. Now if I carry the three and then add the fish in. Mm. It's very interesting indeed. I think I might be onto something. Uh, Simon? Oh, Agent Tom. Come in, come in. You're probably wondering why I'm here. Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. Well, I'm here because of an inconsistency in your report on... I believe it was Project Brody? <sighs> I guess this was going to come up anyway. So... I might as well tell you. Yes, I would very much like to know that. Well, it started a little bit like this. Yes, I have done it. I have created a super fuel. Simon, dear. Yes, Julie? Simon, you need to get ready. Remember, we have that dinner with the Katzens tonight. Oh my, I completely forgot. But this is a good opportunity for me to test my new super fuel. Simon, we don't really have time for that. But how about this? You just bring it with us, and we can try it on the way home, okay? Sounds like a plan. Well, this looks like a good place to park. So, Brody, are you excited to see your little friend, Khaleesi? Yeah, Mama, I really am. Oh, Harriet, Adam, I am so excited to see you guys. I haven't seen you two in ages, and wow, Khaleesi is just getting so big. I know, right? She's simply growing like a weed. <laughs> oh, she's going to make a fine secret agent someday. Her training's been going so well, isn't that right, Khaleesi? Yes, Mama. So, Julie, is Brody going to be training to be an agent, too? No, Brody's more interested in science, like his father. Yes, Brody has been learning a lot quickly. And he's been a lot of help with, with things in my lab. Well, it sounds like both of our children are very talented. Indeed they are, Adam. Indeed they are. Okay, there you go, Brody dear. All buckled in and ready to go. Simon, are you done fueling up the car yet? Yes, I am, Julie. We are ready to go. I don't need no seatbelt. I'm a big boy. Simon, we're getting too close to that building. Turn. I can't. Well, then stop. I can't. Johnny, are you okay? I'm fine, but what about Brody? What? He's gone! And his seatbelt was undone. Oh no, we have to find him! Brody! Dada! <gasps> Brody! Oh, son! Daddy! <gasps> Brody! Do 
Julie, call 911 now. Okay. It's going to be okay, Brody. Just hold on. Mr. and Mrs. Collins? Yes. Is our son gonna be okay? Well, um... Dad? I mean, doctor? Um, yes. We are so sorry to inform you that your son is brain dead. But... he has a heartbeat! How can he be dead? Well... Your son is in a coma. There is no brain activity, which means he is brain dead. The only reason he has a heartbeat is because of this life support machine that he's attached to right now. So, he's never going to wake up? I'm afraid not. We are so sorry for your loss. You have two options. You can leave him on life support indefinitely in this vegetative state, or you could choose to disconnect him from the life support machines and let him go in peace. So you're making us decide whether our son's going to die? Julie, he's already dead. Let's just let him go in peace. He'll be in a better place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll... We'll give you some time to say goodbye. Are you both ready? <laughs> yes, Doctor. We are. Meep. Meep. <laughs> it's your fault, Simon. It's your fault Brody's dead. If it hadn't been for your stupid super fuel. Johnny, we both know that Brody flew out of the car because he was not wearing his seatbelt. I don't want to hear your excuses. We're done. Okay, let's do this. Nine month incubation period complete. Clone deceased. What? Again? I could have sworn I would get it right this time. <sighs> if only I had better equipment and more resources. I believe I can help with that. Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? I am Miss Dalesen. And I can give you the resources you require. Okay. I have recal you. Recalibrated everything. Let's see if it worked. Nine month incubation period. Complete. Status of clone. Healthy. And fully developed. Yes. Finally. Fluid draining. Pod opening. It is 
is okay, little one. I am here for you. Wait, wait, wait. So you cloned your own kid? Hey, I am the one telling this story, Agent Tom. But anyway, as I was saying, no one could know that he was my son. Not even him, because, well, I would get in huge trouble if people knew that I used these resources for, for my own personal gain. But isn't that why Miss Towson approached you? She did not know the con... She did not know that who I was trying to clone was my son. She just thought that it was research. Simon! Simon! Oh, hello, Brody. Could you bring me that syringe from over there? Sure thing, Simon. Brody! Brody, are you alright? I don't feel good. Oh dear. Oh my. It's worse than I thought. His clone DNA is unraveling. Oh my. And then what happened? Relax, Agent Tom. I am getting to that. So as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, I asked Agent Tyson if he would, would donate a blood sample, some of his DNA, so then Brody could live. He would no longer be the boy I knew, but at least he would still be alive, you know? Oh, so that's how he ended up as a brown dog. Yes, exactly. Are you feeling better, Brody? Yeah, yeah I am. But I look so much different. I know, Brody, but... You're still the same boy on the inside, and that's all that matters. But it didn't last. Ow! Brody! Simon, it's happening again. Ow! Oh my. I would have used Agent Tyson again, but... He was missing in action, so I used Agent Carson instead, and, well, everybody knows about the Brody and Carson thing. Yeah, everybody does know about that, and that explains a lot, actually. So, are you going to report to me? No. I think I'll let you off the hook this time. Thank you, Agent Tom. Thank you. Okay, well, I'll be going. Bye. Yo, Simon, you up for some video games? As a matter of fact, buddy, I think I am. Sweet, but I'm gonna beat you! Ha ha ha! Oh, no, you are not, Brody. Come back here. I'm the one that's going to beat you. No, you aren't. Yes, I am. <laughs>